Good morning and we today is your girl Irina TL. Today we are doing a challenge. We are two people at home and we are to have a meal for a dollar. In Uganda, you know it's quite possible, but still not very possible. It means a lot of sacrifice. You're going to adjust here and there. So let's have a meal for a dollar. Some of you will be like, oh, a dollar what? In Uganda, a dollar, depending on the exchange rate, it lies between 3,300 to 3,600. But today, let's check 3,500. Okay, so 3,500, that is what we are going to have. Mochimani, you, I was going to turn to Uganda. You know very well in Uganda, if you're going to have, it's not a meal, like we don't have, we don't do those things of, burgers what i think that is not a meal so this is homemade it must have food as in a minute soup and soup or sauce <laughs> it must have sauce mm -hmm. bread is not food for us here some of you be there you eat bread say ah oh, lunch what <sighs> bread over is a snack some of you treat snacks as food like you have anyway i can't <laughs> i don't know how you do it that side so but our plan is we've already talked it over we want to have mokene it's one of the cheapest things you can always have mokene it's called silver fish some call it a million fish some call it omena is what we are going to have with um Let's see what we can have with, if our money allows us, let's see what we can have with. So we're going to be showing you the recipe of omena that we are going to use and then the final food, okay? Let's dive into our meal. This is the silver fish we've bought. It was worth 1,000 Uganda shillings. Oh, yes. And one thing for sure for me, I do not like eating them with their heads on. Oh no, I feel like all of them, a million of them, because some people call them a million fish. I feel like a million of them are all looking at me as I'm eating them. So one thing I do for sure, I first remove the heads, but not that all. It is believed that heads also are kind of hard. But some people eat them. For me, I remove the heads. So after removing the heads, I had to soak them. Yes, by soaking, I want them to get to soften up because remember they're always dry. So I want them to soften up so that it is easy for me to cook them. Also, at this stage, if they have any stones in them, at this stage, as you try to wash them, the stones sink down and then the silver fish remains on top. That is if you use sufficient water. Uh, so get to measure some cooking oil. And this depends on the amount of the silver fish that you want to prepare. So accordingly, measure the cooking oil and heat it for some time. Once it's ready, pick your silver fish right from water and also uh, put it to the pan. But because it's wet, keep safe distance. Keep a safe distance because... You know what happens when you put uh, cooking oil to water? So you know what happens. So keep a safe distance. Keep stirring this until they turn a little bit golden. Not brown, but a little golden. Once they turn golden, add your onions. Now, me, I was hungry. That's why my onions are all <laughs> looking everywhere. But you, you cut them neatly. Cut them neatly. Put your tomatoes too. And I would advise you, you fast peel them they'll come out better but i tell you what i was hungry i didn't have the time for peeling them off so keep stirring and until the tomatoes soften yes ensure that they are soft enough so at this point if you're going to add a lot of soup a lot i don't mean river nile but um something more at this stage you can add a uh, roiko or any ingredient you you may want to use so you can use the water in which they were soaked the top water so for me i want just a little bit of it to wet them and i added it onto them if you're going to add more ensure you add a thickener a spice that has thickener reiko has a thickener you if if not reiko and you're going to use anything else that doesn't have a thickener you can use uh, okra a little bit of okra 
So our meal is ready and here we are giving thanks to the Lord. Here we are. We are having our meal for our doula. It is ready. I feel the best way to connect with my plate of food, like for it to fill me and me to fill it is by using my hands. So most cases at home, I rarely use forks. Mm, rarely. Even in restaurants, by the way, sometimes I use my hands for as long as they are washed and clean. But my sister, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, she doesn't like using hands. It's called footprinting. So for her, she has decided is to mix her food together because she's like, if I put the sauce aside, if I keep the sauce aside, it may turn out that what if I run out of sauce and I still have the rice. So guys, for our dollar, we went and bought a half kilogram of rice, which costed us 1,500. Those are approximately, um, approximately $4. Yes, approximately four dollars. That means our meal we successfully had three dollar meal because the remaining five hundred we used it to buy tomatoes, yes, and cooking oil. Finally, the plate is clean. We had a meal for a dollar. But in some African homes, if you leave the plate neat like that, they will think you're not you didn't get satisfied. But for us we were nice. Let me give a warning. Don't say I didn't tell you. If you eat mokene, after a few minutes of eating, ensure that you take a glass of water, a glass of juice. Not just mokene, every food. After a few minutes, take a glass of water or a glass of juice because that mokene <laughs> sometimes behaves funny. <laughs> or it can give you like, um, to some people, it can give a heart burn. It's called heart burn. It's just burn. If a heart burns, you may die. Think <laughs> so. I'm here very satisfied and having my glass of pineapple juice. I always have this in my house, like always. Pineapple juice with hibiscus and by coco. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be showing you plenty of meals you can have for a dollar if you're in Uganda. I know with some time we shall upgrade to ten dollars or stuff like that. And keep right here. Let's enjoy life together. Chop life. Oh.